I have never been to Spain, and I have never seen a bullfight, but I am pro-bullfighting. Stay tuned to find out why. Yes, I know, bullfighting is a sadistic form of animal torture. I get it, okay? And I understand that even in Catalan, in Spain, they have banned it. All right, I get it. But guys, if you are a meat eater, you have to be pro bullfighting, all right? Just think about it. It's such a better way for a bull to go with a little bit of dignity rather than no dignity, such as a slaughterhouse, right? How does a bull or any cow or any animal really in a slaughterhouse die? All right, first of all, their life. What is the life of the cow? First of all, they live in a tiny cubicle, right? Standing in feces up to their ankles and they just have to eat like the brains of their cousins, you know, just um, 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 and they're being stuffed with chemicals and all this shit to prevent them from getting sick. Then one day, slaughter day, they put them up a ramp and then a guy in a fucking lab coat, a lab coat, puts a little bolt in his head, makes the bolt unconscious, and then they kill him. That's right. He's killed while he's unconscious by a person in a lab coat in a crappy indoor environment, which is probably playing lame classic rock or something like that okay then the bowl is cut in half he's hung up to dry and eventually he becomes a burger available at your local Aldi or Lidl the bull in the bullfight arena on the other hand he has a great last day of his life you know first of all these bulls are already treated better you know they get to go to bullfighting school that's cool I'd rather go to bullfighting school or just a fighting school in general than have to hang out in a cubicle all day right would I rather work in a shitty office in a cubicle all day eating cousin brains or would I be outside with my buddies learning how to fight I'd rather be outside learning how to fight maybe we'd have to do this comedy shit you know so that's one thing, right? And then the day before, there's the running of the bulls. So the bull and all his other bull buddies get to run around the city, right? Just tearing shit up, having a great time. They could probably duck into a bar, have a drink, kiss out with a kiss a couple bull girls or whatever. You know, that's fun. And like, there's got to be one or two bulls that get away, right? There's got to be one or two bulls that put on a fake mustache and just kind of put on a jacket and like get onto a train and they never see him again. And they end up starting like a craft beer place in San Francisco. I don't know. There's got to be bulls that get away on the running of the bulls day, right? Then on the day of the bullfight. I mean, think about it. It's so awesome, right? The bull, he gets paraded. He's he's paraded in. There's like a parade, like kids marching with trombones and drums. And like, you know, they go into this big arena, this massive arena. He gets to run around this arena. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. It's not a tiny ramp. It's a giant arena. And everyone's cheering for him. And there's like the king is there and the queen and everything they're playing music and then the guys they bring out a group of guys to fight not just one douchebag in a lab coat with a walkman on listening to leonard skinner or something no a group of dudes and they're not dressed in a lab coat they've got on like classic 17th century andalusian clothing you know they look like princes and you know barons and stuff like this right so the bull has to go out there going like wow all these people are really into me i am the fuck and shit right that bull has to feel really good he's got this field he can run around in right then then before the bull dies he gets to play games who gets to play games before they die there's no per person rotting away in a cancer clinic somewhere who does a round of monopoly for conking out no there's not i've been to these places they don't do that it's terrible but the bull they get to play fucking games they get to play games all right so the first game uh i've looked into this my favorite game of, of the bullfight is uh try not to get stabbed in the neck by a fucking lance yeah there's a guy on a horse with a lance and like the bull they used to be able to like stab the horse and watch the horse die which is awesome now they have pads to protect the horse blah 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 whatever all right but anyways there's a guy on a horse with a lance he stabs the bull in the neck right here so the bull has to like dodge it that's a fun game right and if he doesn't then his head goes down and he looks like a teenager texting right so the bull gets to play that game then he gets to play another game where three guys run around and chase him with little barbed sticks right and they stick him into him and he slowly bleeds to death if they get it yeah that's fun right slowly bleeding to death that's a fun game like oh, will i bleed to death i don't know fun game and the last fun game the best one the metador comes out and he's got a little red cape and the bull gets to cha chase the cape around oh yes chase the cape chase the cape come on come on chase the cape chase the cape what is it about bulls that they have evolved to hate capes what is it about the cape that drives the bull crazy i think back in the day back in the day in early spain the, the bull evolved to be the predator 
of the caped tree monkey vampire monkey. Maybe that's it. There's like a Spanish vampire monkey, okay? And the Spanish vampire monkey would jump tree to tree and his little fur built-in cape would help him glide, right? And the bull would train himself to find these caped monkeys. He would look for the capes, right? And they had red capes. They also had pink capes and gold capes. And the bull, even though the bull is colored by the bull would just look for these things and he had his horns up and he would stab them in the stomach and the blood would gush down into his mouth and he would eat a great bull meal. And I, I know that sounds weird because uh, normally we think that bulls are vegetarians, but no, these original bulls were meat eating bulls who ate Spanish vampire monkeys, all right? And that's why they evolved to hate the cape. So they get to chase the cape around, right? And at the end, the guy stabs them in the heart. What a way to go. That's a great way. He's not unconscious. He's like, I see the sword going into my heart. I'm a badass. I feel like William Wallace on the fields of battle in Scotland or something like that. You know, it's a great Game of Thrones way to go rather than this captive bolt pistol bullshit they use in the slaughterhouses of today. And the best part of the, the bull's last and final and awesome day is the fact that that bullfighting arenas today do not allow anyone under the age of 14 to watch it. So he's got no shitty kids or teenagers not paying attention or talking about video games or whatever this. No, he's surrounded by adults, right? He's surrounded by adults. He gets to play games. They, they, then they slaughter him and he's dragged away. And then the last thing you see is this little guy with a broom who sweeps away the blood as though nothing happened. And then people eat the ball, the balls of the bull and they get to have his ear and his tail and everyone's hat. See, that's the way to go. That's why I'm pro bullfighting, okay? I want all of my meat to die that way. In fact, I think there should be more bullfighting arenas around the world in the neighborhood. There should be bullfighting arenas. There should be chicken fighting arenas, pig fighting arenas. Every animal we ever eat, we should have to kill ourselves. And that's my message today. Meat eating meat is fine. You just have to kill the animal yourself. And that's why I am investing in a trip next week to Spain to learn how to bullfight because I've seen some wild bulls running around Berlin and I'm going to take out these motherfuckers and have a steak dinner for all my comedian friends. Okay, guys, that was today's episode of Ball Ceremony. Dresses like a wanker and talks about Europe. Thanks for paying attention. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Cheers.